Hi everyone! It's currently Wednesday the 12th, the day before my wisdom tooth extraction surgery. So I am juicing right now as an afternoon pick-me-up. I finally caved and purchased my own juicer from Amazon. This is the Omega Juicer. I'm going to show you my recipe for my favorite detox juice, which is inspired by the juice that I always get from Whole Foods. These are my beets. I've trimmed and chopped them up, and then I've got some broccoli. My my rainbow carrot. I don't think I need more than two apples today because the carrots make the juice fairly sweet on its own. And I really, really love this juice. I highly recommend this combination. Sometimes I throw kale in here if I want a little extra green, but today I'm going to try using the beet leaves and see if that helps a little bit. But I didn't add kale today because I had kale juice yesterday. So essentially, I pop the fruit and veggies in through here using this to press them down and as you can see the juice is expelled through here and the pulp comes out on this side. You can actually throw some of the pulp back in for fiber if you wish. I figure these close-ups will be helpful in case anyone is interested in this juicer. And no, this isn't sponsored. I just wanna help people out and show people how much my love for juicing has grown doing this myself instead of buying it. <laughs> Oh man, it is messy, especially with the beets because the red does stain everything, but it is delicious. It is so worth the effort and I am really, really happy that I have a juicer at home now, even though it is kind of a painstaking process with all the chopping and peeling and cleaning, but it's so worth it. Hi everyone, so I'm here at my doctor's office and I'm about to get my wisdom teeth pulled. I didn't sleep very well, I have a bare face, but I'm kind of bloated and I have deep dark eye circles. I think I was just anxious and I couldn't sleep at all but yeah here we go. So I got some good news. I actually only have two wisdom teeth, one on each side. And the doctor said it's only going to take about 10 to 15 minutes per tooth, if that. So I'm really excited. That's great news because obviously I'll be under sedation. It's not good to be under too long. So I can't wait because two teeth. That's really good news. <laughs> my face is a little white from sunscreen and I just finished up my chemical peel. So my skin is finally in good shape and now after looking like Voldemort for a week, I'm going to look like a chipmunk. <laughs> So it's been a few hours and I can actually talk now. I sound muffled because I still have the anesthesia wearing off. So my mouth is still quite numb, but I'm so hungry. I really wanted to eat some chuk. This is from a place in K-Town called Punjuk. I'm actually surprised because my jaw hasn't swelled up quite yet. I heard some people swell up immediately after the surgery, but I'm still getting feeling back in my mouth. So we'll see what the next day or two brings. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. This is the day after my wisdom tooth extraction and forgive me if I am speaking a little bit funny because I'm still very sore on my right side. Today, however, because I am feeling much better, I decided to show you my juicer that arrived on my doorstep this morning. This is the Huron. It will go perfectly over there next to my Breville Tea Maker, which has been sadly ignored ever since I discovered juicing. But I'm really excited because as much as I like the Omega, I do think that the Huron is a little bit better for me. It's only intended for juicing whereas the Omega you can make pasta and bread and all sorts of things, which I don't do. So let's give this a whirl and see which one is staying and which one's going back. So today I'm going to make a green juice instead of a body detox. I've got some Meyer lemons with, I think this is green chard, and then I've got some dino kale and regular kale that I had left over from my last juice, my last green juice. And then I've got some spinach, which I don't normally enjoy eating raw, and then my Fuji apples of course and some again leftover carrots for my detox so I try not to let the produce sit in my refrigerator I try to use it as soon as possible so now I'm going to turn on this beautiful machine and see how it goes the juice is gorgeous the pulp is a little bit more damp than I expected but it might be because I rinsed out the entire machine before using it I will say though that the opening at the top is a little bit smaller than Omega's which is already considered small 
So you just have to chop your produce finely, but it's not a big deal to me. Let me try throwing in an apple to see if it fits. Oop, now I'm gonna have to use this. Go, go, go. <laughs> Success. All right, now we can watch it go through the strainer. Perfect. Now the juice is complete and I am a little disappointed that there is more foam than I expected, but the pulp looks extra dry. So that's a really good sign, especially when it comes to the apples and the greens. So the verdict is that the juice is delicious. I used half a lemon this time around and it made a huge difference. The first time I made green juice, I did not use the lemon, just the two apples and it was just too a little too green for me, a little too bitter. I just felt that the juice needed a little bit of acid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have just finished uploading my get ready with me skincare, makeup, and outfits from Tokyo video. So go check that out in case you haven't seen it yet. And now I'm going to go relax. And I neglected to ice my face this morning, so my right cheek is swelling up pretty badly from my extraction. So I'm gonna use this little guy. Uh, I got this at Rite Aid. It's a cheap but really useful ice pack for your face. So I'd like to hold on to this area here because because then I won't freeze my hands off. Hello everyone, so my cheek is still a little bit swollen, but I just wanted to give you an update. I had my surgery on Thursday. It is Sunday in the evening now. So I look pretty good, all things considered. I am still talking a little bit funny, but in terms of the swelling, it's been really good. The healing process in general has been a lot more painless than I expected, so I'm so, so grateful. But now I'm gonna go see my grandmother because I haven't seen her in a while, and we're gonna catch up and and eat some tofu since I can't really eat hard foods yet. Just little bits of soup and all that good soft mushy stuff. <laughs> okay, so see you in a bit. Empty airport. That's what happens when you land at 1 a.m. So here is my room at the Fontainebleau and it's really nice actually. It's better than I was expecting. Lots of white, big mirror to my right, closet to my left. I was really naughty today in terms of food. I had Burger King, I got a fried chicken sandwich and I had chips and cookies on the plane and too much orange juice so I'm trying to be smart and have some salad with some shrimp and that's gonna be my dinner. And of course, there's nothing like a little Harry Potter to complete dinner. Good morning. I just wanted to share the pretty view from my hotel room. So I'll do a quick pan for you. And as you can see, it's a really bright and beautiful day, which I'm sure Miami has a lot of, but the skies are so clear and the clouds are so fluffy and beautiful. So I'm gonna go out to lunch now and I'll take you with me. And the food has finally arrived. Hi guys, so I'm still figuring out how to shoot myself in a mirror. I'm not really good at this, so please forgive me, but I wanted to show you my outfit since I know a lot of you guys are curious about what I wear. This blouse is from Equipment, and this skirt I got in Japan. I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable, and my heels match the waistband. So I'm really happy with my outfit today. I normally don't wear sleeveless tops, as many of you guys know. You're used to seeing me in sweaters and long sleeves, but I figured today, since it's hot and humid out here, here in Miami, I would wear a sleeveless blouse. Okay, so now I'm off to the event. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm at the Lincoln Road Mall area and this place looks very similar to some place you guys might know of in LA called Santa Monica Promenade. And so it's just a bunch of outdoor restaurants and shops, so I'm gonna walk around and see if there's anything to do. Hi Bo Bear, are you happy to have Mama back at home? <laughs> Good boy. 
talks that he has been with his grandmother for about two weeks now. I missed him so much. I'm so happy to have him back. Yes, my handsome, beautiful little baby boy. Well, he's not a baby anymore. He's gotten quite thick. <laughs> Lots of walks. And as you can see, I am forever attached to dog hair. There's just simply no getting away from it. But it's a proud mark that I am Bo's owner. So no worries there. So I'll just show you now. These are my tribute heels. I do prefer to keep the stuffing in my shoes whenever possible because I do think that especially with these really thin straps it tends to misshape them when I travel you know being smushed around in the luggage and all so there's that and then oh my contact case like a dummy the one thing that I forgot to pack on this trip was my disposable contacts and so I had to save the contacts that I was wearing and buy a solution for them so normally I wouldn't need these but this is what I just bought at CVS and of course we can never forget my Kugendo cleansing spa water wipes these are one of the few makeup wipes that do not break my skin out so I always travel with at least one pack and then my beauty blender so I bought the case on sephora.com I didn't end up using the green one so I just left it out but the one that I did use I wrapped in tissue paper and of course we have my Mason Pearson handy mix hairbrush which needs a cleaning <laughs> hotel dryers will literally shred my hair so I love this it's very compact it's very easy to use it folds you can take it internationally so I highly recommend it if you don't have a travel sized hair dryer it really doesn't take up much space now I have my other t3 hair tool here but I put my splendid shorts down here I just rolled them up and wrapped them just to protect it from the base of the wheel here uh, I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't damage the hair tools so that's just something to keep in mind you know just be thoughtful if you have expensive hair tools that you really don't want to ruin then you know take those precautions so on this trip I packed my world trio which I highly highly recommend so I brought two different barrels I brought the tapered one and I brought the brand new clip curling iron. This is so gorgeous. I can't wait to share more about this with you guys. And of course, you can't forget the wand because that's what plugs into the wall. Without this, you cannot use anything. So I love this. I think out of all the curling wands I've ever used, T3s is by far the very very best i mean there are rave reviews over this particular set i highly 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 recommend it <laughs> now for the part that you guys have been waiting for and have requested over and over again i'm going to show you my makeup bag and what's in it i try to travel pretty light these days normally i like to bring a lot just to have options but traveling lighter definitely has its charms so here are two of the mascaras that i bought in japan they're super awesome i'm going to review them eventually and then i have some ysl my clay to poe concealers, lash glue. These new pencils from Lancome are amazing. They are a waterproof hybrid. I like to use this champagne colored one as a base for eyeshadows or in the water lines. It's so, so beautiful and really smooth. So I highly recommend these. They're brand new. And on this trip, I used my Burberry Eyebrow Definer. This is a brow pencil. Normally I use clay to poe, but these days my red hair has been getting lighter. So I like a slightly browner brow. And then in here, I usually keep all my makeup brushes but I had to pack this lip gloss here this one Lux lip gloss I think it's by Sarah Hap I really love her lip scrubs but I haven't had time to try this gloss yet so I'll keep you guys updated then we've got makeup brushes I know it's weird but I like to protect my bristles and I actually didn't even end up using this one so I'm glad I did this I like to protect my brushes so that they don't get dirty they don't collect glitter or eyeshadow particles from my eye brushes I know it's not cute but it's a good tip if you want to protect your expensive brushes then I have more Wayne Goss, more Shiomura, more Chika Hodo. And then on this side, this is where I keep the bulk of the makeup goods. The Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. This is such a nice creamy powder. If you have dry skin, I really recommend that. And then of course my favorite lashes. So I have my Velour um, Oops Naughty Me and my Shiomura lashes in here. They are so gorgeous. My top two lashes and definitely my most worn. So I highly recommend them. And of course I have my Maquillage Powder, which was a gift from my friend in Singapore. Her name is Leanne. Love for skincare. I'm sure some of 
if you follow her by now, she's awesome. Then I have this Holasu powder that I bought in Singapore. I'm just getting around to trying it. And then my favorite Burberry eyeshadow, this is Shell. I reviewed this in my favorites video. I cannot live without this eyeshadow. Best eyeshadow, single eyeshadow ever. And then last but not least, we have my Addiction eyeshadow palette. I bought these in Japan and I know a lot of you have been curious about this brand, but they are redoing all of their eyeshadows this year. So these eyeshadows have been discontinued. Ultra pigmented, but not too powdery. They don't kick up a lot of dust. So if you're ever in Japan and Tokyo and you want some eyeshadows, definitely check out Addictions. And that's a wrap for what's in my makeup bag, Miami edition. Thanks so much for tuning into this casual vlog. And for those who have constantly requested updates about Bo, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching as always, and we'll see you next time. Bye.